Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby, and today I am back with another grocery haul for you all. Um, today it's Thursday, so it's a little bit early for my grocery haul this week. I typically do them on Saturdays, but I have a lot to do this weekend, so it had to happen tonight. And I just did a Walmart grocery pickup. I didn't end up stopping anywhere else. There were a couple things that they didn't have, but I can make it through without the couple things that they didn't have. And if I need something, I can just go. I've been going on the in-between weeks because I've been doing grocery hauls every other week. So on the in-between weeks, I just go and grab like a couple things if I need it. Uh, but yeah, I have everything here. It's smaller than last time, but I feel like it was just as expensive. Does anybody feel like groceries are just way more expensive than they used to be. Um, is it just me? But oh yeah, anyways, let me show you what I got. All right, let's start over here. So I went back to my Nature's Own Butter Bread. I bought the whole wheat bread the last couple of times, but I just miss having white bread. I just really like white bread, I don't know. Um, I got some of these portable protein packs. They have the, what is that even say, turkey. Dark chocolate nut clusters. Guys, those nut clusters are bomb. And then cheddar cheese. I got three of those. I figured those could just be some easy lunch options for me. Of course, we got some Chobani flips. One of the things they didn't have was a cookie dough. So I had put two on my order, but they only had one. So I have one cookie dough, three peanut butter dreams, two strawberry cheesecake, two mint, and one peanut butter cup. Stick that right there. I got some apples this time. I just got three. I feel like every time I get apples, I don't eat them very much, but so I just stuck with three. So hopefully, hopefully I will eat them. Um, I got some of these. Uh, I got the strawberry ones before, but this time I got the chocolate eclair ice cream bars. I think I'm gonna have one of those for dessert tonight once I'm done filming. I got some skim milk for cereal. Let's see what else. Apples, I said. I got some chicken breast. So I got chicken breast to make my homemade ramen recipe. I don't remember. Did I, did I eat that in the video? Did I show you the recipe? I think I'm going to try to do it in the crock pot next week. So I will try to do that in a what I eat in a day for you guys. I'm going to try really hard to remember so you guys can see that recipe. And then I have just chicken broth that also goes along with the recipe as well. Um, I got some sushi. I haven't been to get sushi in a while, so I just got some of this thaw and eat sushi. It's definitely not as good as the fresh, but I've just been really craving sushi, so I'm hoping that kind of curbs my craving a little bit. This is the shrimp and avocado roll. I used to buy these at Aldi, so I've never tried Walmart before, but I'm excited to see how they are. Um, this was uh, one of my things that they didn't have. I ordered this one, and then I also had a California roll one on my list, but they didn't have that, so I don't know why they didn't just give me two of these, but they just didn't substitute it at all, but that's fine. Um, so I have one of those to try, because I guess if I don't like it, then I don't have two boxes that I need to eat. Oh, uh, let's see, I got some more bacon ranch cheddar dip. This is gonna be for, I have a bachelorette party tomorrow night. It's just like a low-key thing, but I was asked to bring an appetizer, so I'm gonna do this with some cut up cucumber. They, look at this, this cucumber is so little, guys. I wish they would've picked a bigger one. I feel like the amount of cucumber on this tray is gonna be like really pip squeaky, but it's fine. I got some carrots to cut up. So all of this is gonna go on the tray. And then I also got a bag of these Dots Home Style pretzel, Pretzels. I talked about these in my last video. Guys, if you've never tried these, try them. My local Walmart does not have them, but I found them at Tractor Supply. They are pricey. They're like almost $6 for a whole bag. And I didn't even realize that until I was checking out and my total was $12. Because I got two and I was like, uh, okay. So <laughs> these might just be a sometimes thing when I want to treat myself. But I thought that would be really good with the bacon ranch dip. And then I bought this tray at the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna kind of put everything on there and then I'll bring the extras, like if not a lot of pretzels fit on or there's not not a lot of dips gonna fit in there. So I'll bring like the extra dip, the extra pretzels. Hi Elsa. And take that with me to the party tomorrow. But so that's what all this is for. Um, this, this is my cereal for the week. Special K Chocolate Delight. If you have never tried this, I highly, highly recommend it. So good, my grandma loves this cereal. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I just felt like something different this week. I've been really enjoying the cinnamon life I have been eating. It's almost gone, but I didn't binge it. I did not binge it. I just enjoyed a bowl every day or two and it was good. And my cat bugged the crap out of me 
to drink my milk that's the one thing i hate about eating cereal is she can be upstairs napping and i'm down here making a bowl of cereal and she will run down and just stare at me until i'm done and i like eat all the cereal drink the milk and then i set the bowl down and i let her like, just lick the bowl and it's so annoying but it's also really cute but i don't know <laughs> i don't know why i'm telling you that but yes yeah, so i chose special k this week hopefully elsa enjoys the taste of the bowl after special k all right, next, I decided to get some hot chocolate. I, since the weather's getting colder, I felt like hot chocolate would be good. I used to make my own hot chocolate mix, and then I went to my neighbor's and had their Swiss Miss milk chocolate, and I thought it tasted w way better. So that's what I got. I hope it's as good as what I remember, but it's definitely, it's definitely becoming hot chocolate season, and I cannot wait. The weather has been getting warmer this week. Like, I had to turn my air conditioners back on, and I was so annoyed. I was like, no, I thought we had hit, like, the highs were in the 60s for a couple weeks. And I was like, yes, no more summer, because I don't like summer, and I hate being hot. And my house doesn't have central air, so I have to put window units in, and I thought we were, thought I was free. I almost took the window units out, or I was planning to this weekend, and now I can't, because it's going to be, like, high 70s, low 80s. Okay, next we have some sweet treats. Uh, I saw these and I was like, oh, I don't really love regular candy corn, but I thought Nerds candy corn would be really good. It says it's like hard candy. What's that say right there? Hard candy shell with a soft and chewy inside. I try to get like seasonal candy for the kids just for fun. And so it's time to fill up the Halloween candy jar. I haven't really had any out in a while because, you know, I have some out for Easter. I get like jelly beans and then there really isn't much in the summer. I mean, I was getting M&M's and stuff, but like I've said before, like my daycare is just all little kids this year and none of them really eat candy except for just a couple, but I'll get these out, stick them out and give them to the kids if they're being good. I got some of these Biscoff cookies. I saw Scooby-Doo Mom of Two, that's her YouTube name. She got these in her grocery haul. I just recently found her and I really enjoy her videos. So you guys should definitely go check her out. But she had these in her grocery haul and I was like, oh, those look bomb. I, I love the Biscoff like cookies, but I've never seen them with cream. So I'm really excited to try these. And I got some bananas. My Two of my bananas went rotten last week before I could eat them, but let's hope I can do better with these five fingers crossed on that one so that's everything oh no wait one more thing kool-aid i saw felicia talking in her instagram i think about wanting grape flavored water and i was like oh grape sounds really good so i got the kool-aid grape for my collagen drinks this week i still have several flavors in there but some of them are almost gone so i was like i do need a new one so i probably will drink this tomorrow because it sounds so good uh, so that's all as far as food goes. Like I said, I feel like it's not a lot, but I still spent like $100. I don't know. I don't even know how that happened. But here are the non-food items. I needed some more nail polish remover, dry shampoo. I was using that collab, but it just is not working. It was not working this week at all on my hair. So I had to get some more Batiste. Batiste just seems to be the best. The issue with it before was my hair was so dark and the white would show so much. But now that I have the blonde highlights... You can't see the white powder as much, so I went back to Batiste because it's just good. I got this um, just to freshen up my laundry a little bit. I've never tried laundry beads. I'm hoping it's not necessarily um, sensitive for sensitive skin because I can't really use scented things, but it's just like a crisp, clean thing, so I'm hoping it doesn't like make me itchy and stuff, but we're going to try that. And then I got... Just some more body wash of sensitive skin because the case anything scented so boring but there it is again just a big overview and that's all i have for you guys today um i've been really liking doing this every other week big grocery haul and then the in-betweens getting just things that i need so are you guys are you guys enjoying these grocery hauls you get them about every other wednesday you've been getting grocery hauls every saturday what i eat in the days and then the opposite wednesdays i try to do something different uh that seems to be my routine for now and i have most of my videos planned out through the rest of the year they're all mostly tentative but let me know how you're liking that are you liking this flow of videos um i really enjoy feedback down in the comments below because i want to put out videos that you guys really enjoy and yeah so give me some feedback let me know and yeah the next video you see will be another what i eat in a day and i guess it'll probably be another weigh-in update i was thinking today like i don't feel like getting on the scale anymore but 
I probably still will. So I will keep you updated on all of that, guys. But thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. And like I said earlier, please just give me some feedback in the comments. Um, I love hearing from you guys, and it really does mean so much. And it inspires me to post more, make more content. And like I said, I want to give you guys content that you enjoy. So let me know. And press that subscribe button if you haven't already. A thousand by the end of the year, can we do it? And come find me on Instagram. I post videos on here every Wednesday and Saturday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.